Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be doing a set of videos looking at the new models from the Age of Sigmar starter set. I'm going to be looking at the models in greater detail, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions about them and at the end of the video I'm going to be comparing the model to similar size models. So this week we have the Blood Creator. Now that's a funny name, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or anything, but that's, what, that's just how I'm going to pronounce it, I literally don't have a clue. But um. Funny name to go with a great looking model. Uh, this guy is, you know, he's kind of known as the spine uh, banner guy. As you can see, the corn banner here, or as I think it's icon bear or totems they're called now. It's a big spine with a big corn symbol inside of it, or bone going around it. Um, a highly detailed model. Um, let's have a closer look here. Um, yeah, lots of skulls, a lot of armor, heavily detailed. He has the corn symbols all around him. He has uh, braided hair, braided hair, uh, inside of a spine. So only a corn guy could get away with that. Um, even the back of the the totem is detailed. You have like the skull face and everything here. It's pretty cool. And the weapon he has, it's an axe, it says here. So it's like a four-sided one. It's pretty cool looking. Um, beautiful model. Um, it's one of those ones that if you're going to paint it, it want, it's going to take a while and you're going to have to use all your... It's going to have to have all your attention pretty much. Um, it went together pretty easy. I didn't have any trouble. The only funny bit I had maybe I think that as far as I can remember it's a small hand here just glues into the the rest of the arm so it was a bit hard to kind of keep it balanced but it, it was fine at the end and um, yeah everything else the spine the spine ponytail was a little bit funny because it's literally just a tiny bit that stuck to the head there that's what's holding it i was thinking i don't know if this is going to hold i might have to let you know push it in against the leg here and glue it but no holds pretty well and um, to my surprise hasn't fallen off yet and um, so yeah it's really nice looking model a great kind of banner centerpiece guy and um, oh the base Someone did mention on, I think it was Twitter about the best, or maybe it was Facebook, and um, when I got the box, it said, keep an eye out, some of them were missing bases, and um, this guy's base is, as far as I can remember, was the same size as, yeah, it was the same size as the Blood Warriors guys, it was smaller. Uh, forgive me for not knowing the base sizes. I completely forgot about this until I see it now. So that meant with the five man unit of Blood Warriors, one of them would have had this bigger size base, and they're not meant to. So what I did was I cut him off the smaller base, and I swapped him around. And I think the bigger base looks much better. Um, you know, and since it's a game where bases don't matter really, you know, it's not going to change anything. So I'm um, yeah. Went together pretty easy, looks good. Uh, no problem getting it off the sprues. The only I had trouble with the with the Stormcast guys getting them off the sprues. That's why I mention it every now and again. But the Chaos guys were pretty straightforward. And um, lowers down. So looking at compare sizes, um you know obviously the running away guy isn't going to be challenging him anytime soon the guy from the giant kit uh, space marine They're mu he's much bigger than a space marine I think this guy is pretty much like a blood warrior but he's just like yeah he has like a totem so you know if this was like the old Warhammer 8 edition I'd imagine this guy would be like the standard bear in that unit or maybe a battle standard bear um, He's much, even if you put the Space Marine on the base with him, he's still much bigger than him. Um, the Terminator, the Terminator is a lot more bulkier than kind of a lot of the other guys. 
Uh, this one yeah, is still bigger than them. I know the banner makes them look a bit bigger, and the shoulders and everything are out. And um, but the Terminator is bulkier. This guy is a slightly bit more taller. I give him that, and he's standing pretty much straight up. One leg is kind of bent, but the other one is, you know, he's kind of maybe he could go a little bit taller. It's the same, yeah, it's the same set of best size as the Terminator. Um, ogre. God, I can't wait to get these ogres on round bases. It's going to be so much nicer. Um, the ogre is massive. He's bigger than him, bulkier. Um, you know, but the banner guy, and I'm going to repeat his name, so I'm just going to call him the banner guy. The banner guy is, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't look much smaller than him. You know, nothing to be ashamed of, just the back of them. You know, the augers are just big, fat, and muscly guys. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to compare the size of this guy because he is a banner holder. Or a totem holder. Um, but he's definitely the most detailed model in the box. Um, you have a lot of work to do on the spine, there's a lot of metal parts coming over. it. You have the red and the armor. You have hair, other parts of metal, the axe, you know, it's all detailed stuff. The back of him is detailed, he has like the straps and everything there. Going across his back, you have the fur and the boots. You know, there's a bit of everything in this guy. So, um, yeah, so that's it for the blood secretor. That's just how I'm going to pronounce it, the totem guy. But a um, fantastic model, the most detailed in the kit, it has to be. Um, him and the other guy, the other kind of standard looking guy, what's he called? Um, the Relictor. I think he does have a little bit more detail than the Relictor, personally. Maybe just a little bit, but there's not much of a difference. Um, great looking model, fantastic centerpiece if you want to do it like that. Um, definitely want to take your time and give it all your attention to get it looking nice. So, uh, so that's it, um, hit the like button and leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think about it, and as usual, subscribe if you haven't, and once again, thanks for watching, see you guys next video.